Hey there, it's me again, RM. Um, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you so much to all of my new subscribers, new followers. Um, thank you, I appreciate you. Uh, second, the next book I'm uploading is Firewall, it's book five, and it is the last book that I will be able to upload in its entirety. Um, the reason is, uh, YouTube doesn't allow you to upload videos of more than 12 hours in length and uh, all of the rest of them are over 12 hours. Um, do I find it mildly embarrassing that <laughs> my last four books are more than 12 hours long? I do, um, but that's where we are. So that's uh, how things are going to be, unfortunately. Um, so, but uh, but Firewall is still under 12 hours, so you can listen to the whole thing in one fell swoop uh, rather than having to uh, cut off at the midpoint. I, I will get the others uploaded. They'll just, you'll just have to, you'll just have to click on a second video um, when you're done the first one. Um, in the meantime, uh, while we are waiting patiently for Fireload, Firewall to finish all of its crap and finally upload, uh, I thought I could do some trivia about the Ungovernable series. Um, don't worry, this doesn't have any spoilers. I might do a spoiler, spoilery one later, but this one is entirely spoiler free, so you're safe, even if you haven't watched the videos. Um, let's see, so first of all, Jailbreak. I have always loved Jailbreak stories, Prison Break stories, um, you know, people getting out of I grew up watching um, the Great Escape <laughs> was one of my favorite movies as a kid. Um, so as you can imagine, the uh, research for Jailbreak was a lot of fun. I did a lot of research into various real life prison break stories. Uh, some of them uh, inspired a lot of the sh cruise shenanigans in Jailbreak. Uh, some of them I couldn't find a way to work in and I was quite disappointed about it because there are some good ones out there. Um, if you ever want to, uh, you should, you should Google, I, I don't remember the name of the, of the people, but there's a group of people that escaped from Alcatraz that was really fun, uh, interesting, fascinating how they managed to do that. Um, but anyway, I wish I'd, I wish I'd kept a list of all the, of all the jailbreak stories I'd gone through, um, researching jailbreak because, uh, <laughs> I'd like to go back to them. It was very interesting. Um, Time Bomb. Uh, I was actually really nervous when I started drafting Time Bomb because I wasn't sure how I would be able to maintain pacing for a book that took place. I think it's like less than 30 hours. Um, the, you know, the main part of the book happens in less than 30 hours. And I wasn't sure I would be able to sort of maintain a, a solid pacing through a, a book that took place in such a short amount of time. Um, but I just went for it and it ended up being one of my favorite books in the series. I kind of love that one. Um, let's see, Insider Threat. So I don't think that the dedications made it into the audiobook version of my books, unfortunately, but Insider Threat is actually dedicated to a group of uh, some of my very best friends from college. And we are all still friends and we have group chats and we're actually going to get together this summer to celebrate all our 40th birthdays. So, uh, so yeah, we didn't uh, escape any murder attempts in university, uh, for better or worse, but we <laughs> managed to uh, stay friends regardless. Um, so that's kind of a, a special one for me because I, 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 did, I did make some really good buddies back in college. <laughs> um, Let's see, oh, another uh, insider threat one. I had actually originally, when I was originally plotting out the book, I had planned to uh, have Jez go in disguised as a university professor. Uh, I changed it and I think it works much better the way that it is now. But I always have just sort of this mild regret that I never <laughs> got to write Jez as a college professor because uh, that would be a lot of fun. Um, firewall. Firewall is set on a gambling ship in space, um, and 
so my kids actually are uh, super supportive of my writing career. It cracks me up. And so as I was publishing the Ungovernable series, they all, you know, whenever a new book came out, they wanted, they'd come running up and be like, mom, mom, you got to read this aloud. You got to read this aloud. So uh, I would, um, despite, <laughs> despite some initial misgivings, uh, and Firewall was the book that inspired uh, my then eight-year-old's um, career aspirations, uh, which, which were um, uh, become a professional gambler uh, and learn how to cheat so it's entirely undetectable. Um, and then sort of go out on the circuit, which uh, <laughs> you can guess who his favorite character was. Uh, and, and then <laughs> led to me questioning all my life choices as a parent. Um, oh, covers. So uh, I, I had a ton of fun with the covers on this series. Um, I, I love self-publishing. There's a lot of things about self-publishing I really love, but probably one of my favorites is the fact that I get to do whatever I want um, as far as covers go. I mean, you obviously want to stay in genre conventions and stuff, but nobody makes the rules. You can do what you want. Um, so anyway, I was I was trying to brainstorm some concepts to send to my cover designer for Insider Threat, um, you know, just to give her an idea of, of where I was going with this. And um, I was talking to an artist friend of mine and she said, well, why don't you tell me kind of what vibe you're going for? And I'll see if I can sort of sketch up a quick concept. <laughs> and I, I had to, I had to tell her that I was going for sort of a, a 1920s or a 1900s sort of university uh, vibe, um, but set in you know, 80s Soviet Russia and make it space opera. Um, I do wonder sometimes how I didn't give my cover designer an absolute heart attack. Um, let's see some of the other instructions I gave her. I, I space casino, uh, that's firewall. You'll see when that one comes up. Um, 1920s Chicago speakeasy, but sci-fi was another one. Um, Les Mis at the barricades type scene but like with concrete and sky bikes <laughs> she had the patience of a saint um but anyway uh I always I always sort of both looked forward to and dreaded <laughs> the cover conversations with my artist um anyway so that's that's uh some trivia on the ungovernable uh thanks for watching like and subscribe. Firewall will be coming soon. Um, we'll start the laborious 24 plus hour uh, upload process uh, shortly here, so it'll it'll pop up soon. And uh, in the meantime, take care, good luck, and I'll see you next time.